What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's another fabulous Saturday, and I am in the shop working on the chopper. And it is currently, I think, 22 degrees here in St. Louis, so zero chance of getting out and doing any motorcycling. Um, I did get to ride this week. We had a day that was like 65. I went and took uh, Leaky, my other chopper, out on a ride. I didn't video any of that because it was the first time I've rode a motorcycle in two months. And I just wanted to go out and enjoy it. It was a beautiful day, and uh, I absolutely loved every minute of it. But today, we're working on this chopper. So before we dive into this, do me a huge favor. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And ring the little notification bell so you can keep up with all the projects. So what are we doing today? Um, let's go over here, and I'll show you. So I have the engine sitting here. I need to get that back in the frame for the final time. Uh, tank is sitting right here currently. I am in the middle of uh, coating the inside of that tank, but I'm not sharing that on camera. And yesterday I rebuilt this rear wheel. It has a brand new hub in it and uh, bearings and all that. I didn't film any of that. So I think we're going to cut the cam cover first and the sprocket cover get those all back together sealed up i think that'll be easier to do with the engine on my cart and then get the engine back into the bike and see where we go from there so i already stopped by the harley dealer and grabbed a new gasket for this uh, cam cover it was a uh, whole six dollars at the harley dealer and down here oh, I dropped it on the other side i have a ultima uh ignition kit for this so I'm going to be removing the factory Harley ignition and put in that uh, Ultima ignition. So that's going to allow me to uh, simplify all the wiring on this bike quite a bit. I guess that's enough yap, yap, yap. Let's get into it. I'm going to throw you guys on the tripod and start getting this all taken apart. For the record, do this at your own risk. I am not responsible if you screw your stuff up and this is not a how-to. But I will tell you this, you do have to drill these two rivets so you can get to the bolt behind here before you take this cover off. Otherwise, you will pull that cam out and then you're gonna be stripping your top end down so you can get the push rods back in place. Also, don't ask me how I know that. Okay, so once that is all off from inside there, now you can start taking your bolts out for this cam case. Um, you really should break this stuff free by hand first, but uh, do as I say, not as I do. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on this because you don't wanna pry on a ceiling surface if you don't have to. Alrighty, so as you can see, all the cams stayed where they need to. That is what we want it to happen. So on this cam cover, the only parts you really need on this is the ceiling surface, which means all of this below the ceiling surface and around can actually be chopped off. So now I'm going to head over to the bench and hook up my angle grinder, and we're gonna start cutting that off. So let's head on over there. All right, so to get this ignition out, you can de-pin the connector, but 
being that I have a new connector or a new ignition, I'm just gonna snip it. But I'm gonna snip it at a place where if I need to solder this for future use, I can. So I'm not just throwing the stock ignition away. I'm gonna hold on to it. I'm also gonna cut this hose clamp off so I can slide the hose off of this oil line. Okay, so I've never done this, but my assumption here and the way I'm gonna do it is, I'm actually gonna end up removing that fitting before I start, but I'm going to cut far enough back that I'll have to go back through with a, uh, a flat disc and uh, button it up. But I wanna leave myself some wiggle room. I don't wanna cut all the way up and then have no room to go back through and make this look nice. Alrighty, so we're gonna take a moment to talk about shop safety and I'm an idiot and I don't want you to be an idiot like me. So I had safety glasses on but I did not have gloves on and I actually got my knuckle. That probably needs a stitch but being right on the knuckle a stitch isn't gonna hold. So. I'm just gonna wrap it in a band-aid and put some gloves on and keep on going. But if you're gonna do stuff in your garage, either be tough and stupid or be smart and wear your safety equipment. But if you're gonna be stupid, you better be tough. So I'm gonna get this uh, bandaged up, throw on some gloves and get right back at it. But again, don't be an idiot like me. All right guys, so I spared you watching me grind away at that thing. Uh, it took a couple of hours, so I'm not gonna get everything I want it done today. I do have the cover back on, the ignition's not in there. I'm gonna throw this engine in, wrap that up, and then call it a day because it's almost five o'clock right now. So I'm gonna throw you guys on the tripod, get the engine in, and then I will show you how that all came out and we'll discuss that. So let me throw you guys back on there and let's keep going. All right guys, so like a novice YouTuber, uh, the battery died when I was installing the engine, so I don't know how much of it got captured, but the engine is in. Let me flip it around, show you guys what I did. So if you see here, now this cam cover, it almost gives the illusion that the engine and transmission are divorced like a big twin. And then once I cut this cover, it'll also kind of aid in that look. But we were able to remove all of that excess. And uh, this does a couple things. First of all, serviceability. We can now easily get to these hoses on the on the oil pump if we ever need to. And the most important thing is I think it just looks cool. So unfortunately, I'm out of time today. I uh, don't have time to get the ignition installed and uh, start wiring this bike up and to get that other cover cut. Next week, the wife and I are out of town. Going to take a little personal time in the mountains. So... I'm going to try to get something shot this week. We'll see what happens, but I guess that's going to pretty much wrap this video up. Again, I love each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Ring the little notification bell. And in the description box, there's links to all of our social media, as well as our company website, hotheadstalls.com, where we make everything for horses, and there's a 5% off discount code. I will see you all in the next one. I'm out of here.